Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to go to the Lucky Labo shop, take care of some business, uh, bring you along for the ride. Other than that, we're going to work on the S14 a little bit. We need to install seats, steering wheel, and repair the shifter. So once all of that is done, I'll try to take some videos and get some cool SR noises for you guys. As usual, my car is full of boxes. Some of this stuff just came in for inventory and others we have to ship out today. Um, I'll bring you to the office and show some of the packing process and a little bit of a tour of what we have in stock and uh, what we do over there. First order of business today, we sold this set of wheels down here, Modex KS05. Uh, we got to pack those up. Uh, we also have to pack up a seat. But in the meantime, I will show you a little bit around the office. Over in this section, we actually have a set of Ganadors, brand new in box. These are the carbon model for S14. Uh, we do need to pack these up and ship them. Um, as they sold yesterday, but super cool piece. I was about to actually throw them on our shop car S14, but you know, money talks, right? Here we have some Nismo S14 270R style gauge pod holders. Uh, these are super cool. We actually have one of these in our car. Um, we have this super cool old logo Nismo 80 millimeter turbo gauge box. It's got the original warranty. Um, if you look, that's the, that says warranty. And then it also has the instructions, which is super cool. I bought this from a friend in uh, the UK. He goes by N1 BNR. He sells a lot of cool stuff as well. Anyways, if you wanted to look up that part number. Uh, we have Zenki Corners for S14. We have S14 grills up there. Uh, down here, we actually have a Gretti intake manifold for PS, our PS13. This is, we actually took the liberty to import this from Japan. Uh, one of them is going on our shop S13. One of them is up for sale. Brand new in box original packaging and all. Look at this machining. I mean, it's very precise and awesome. Very cool. What else do we have? Uh, here we have a Nismo old logo exhaust that needs to be refinished. We're going to put this muffler on the S14. Uh, this is typically supposed to be on a BCNR 33 GTR. Uh, cup holders, we need a restock. We are very low. Uh, we sold about 2,000 of those last year. Here we have our Lucky Labo keychains, SR. I thought this was super cool. They're made from silicone. Uh, our friend Triple Style designed these for us. We also have jet tags. In this section over here, we have swing hand pops. Uh, you know, if you follow us on Instagram, you're probably aware of these, but it's super fun uh, air freshener that actually swings with the inertia of your car. You install it with a suction cup and a little metal rod. Uh, super fun, super cool, smells good. Um, people love it. We also have uh, Wolf Clan Garage driving gloves. So these are SFI rated. Um, Great design. Actually, Okachan from Yashio Factory uses the black set that we sent to Samet. Um, he ended up stealing them from Samet and uh, he's been using them recently. So that's really cool. Shout out to Okachan. Last thing to address before we start packing and shipping, we have a beautiful set of LMGT4 Nismo wheels uh, that we're selling for a friend. 
So if any of you are in the market for 17 inch by eight and a half, nine and a half stagger Nismo LMGT4s, head to the website, hit us up on Instagram. I'll put a link here and uh, yeah, thank you. Over here, we have the packing and staging area. We use this long table. There's some of our boxes. Uh, tape set up. For tape, we use this custom printed water activated tape. Uh, we get it from Sticker Mule. I mean, nothing special there. Uh, we have the two tape dispensers, packing paper. Um, and then our humongous pile of boxes from Japan. So every time we bring something in or we buy something locally, we just save the box. This is actually the box from uh, the GT3 RS that we got for the S13. Probably gonna keep that, but most of this actually needs to go. I mean, it's getting ridiculous and taking up half of the, the space in here and uh, as you can see, we've just got a jam packed full of shit. Top Suicide, shout out to Judson. Here we have it. Um, this is what we got today. It's a small batch of stuff but very cool uh so we have some two yashio factory water temp one so this is the version one that looks like a digital clock uh very cool plugs into the console port of any nissan well technically 1990s nissans uh we have some carbon face blitz gauges uh these are the mechanical boost gauges. We have some hats. So these are podium hats or sponsorship hats that D1 drivers would, would have worn back in the day. Uh, in the glory days of 2001 to 2004 D1 GP. Um, <clears throat> got some Zinke corner lights. They look very good, no tabs broken. Just a little bit of uh, surface rust from probably some front end damage. Looks good though. Uh, we have this horn button for a stock S13 steering wheel. Very good condition. This is actually going in the S13 shop car. Um, I just feel like the OEM interior theme is what I want to do. Then we have a S15 stock SRS airbag steering wheel and shift knob for all you OEM plus folks out there. Ganador mirrors that we're packing up. Uh, this is a really great example with the original instructions, harness. Um, if you know Ganadors, like, just take a look at this harness. Okay, <laughs> it's impressive. Uh, and then, as we pull these out, I'm going to pack these a little bit more securely before going out to a customer. Uh, I believe he got a great deal on these because they are original carbon, beautiful finish. I suspect they've never been used. So this is the original glass, S14L, so left-hand side. Um, I mean, really no weathering or anything. I haven't cleaned these up. This is just how they showed up uh, when I imported them from Japan. Beautiful piece. Here is a shot of both for you to appreciate. I know everyone is all fanatical about Ganadors and how much they cost and you know, they look beautiful. It's a, an amazing design. Uh, it stood the test of time since, you know, uh, like 1998 when these first came out. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I believe. Uh, 
yeah, I mean, it's a shame that it's become so expensive and such a, an exclusive sort of club of uh, gatekeepers, but, you know, I'm not trying to contribute to that anymore. I'm no longer selling Ganadors. This is the last set. Uh, as you can see, Sylvia S14. Let me actually try to get a kickflip. This is take like 20, by the way. Here we go. Everything is packed up for today. Got my new Yokohama Advan hat on. Uh, this is all that we had to pack besides the large items, which are already in the car, not including that seat right there. But anyways, um, yeah, I guess that's it for today. Okay, <clears throat> so today we're not working on this or this, but we're trying to bring this back to life. Quick update on the S14. Uh, we're going to get it back together today, right now. It's got this amazing Bride Maxis. It's from 1999 to 2000 production. Super cool. Uh, it just doesn't fit with my body in this car with the sunroof. Um, I'm 6'3", so I have a lot of trouble with the uh, headroom. Anyway, we're taking this out, putting a new steering wheel in, uh, fixing the shifter. We took that out seemingly for no reason. So put that back together, button up the interior and uh, should be good to go. thing is the steering wheel. Uh, we recently removed the 365B Nismo uh, in favor of a Nardi, but I sold that one. So let's see what else we have. We do have three Nardis over here, a 330 and then two 365s. I think I'm going to take the black, all black classic and uh, throw this in the car. Just got these in, Rega Master Evo. These are a 17, 18 stagger. Uh, super rare to find it in this spec. It's a uh, 17 by nine in the front and an 18 by 10 in the rear. Very lightweight wheel manufactured in Japan, as you can see. Last thing we got to do for the S14 to get it all set is install this seat. This is the factory OEM Nissan seat. And I also have the driver's side seat belt that I have to put in for the aftermarket B Grio seat. Here's a better view with the light. Very clean OEM seat. We have the B grill over there for the driver. The Nardi shift knob that everybody hates, but I love. We actually took the S14 outside today. What'd you think, Mark? It was crazy fast. <laughs> feels amazing. Expired plate, 
but uh, no no side mirrors. We had to come to AutoZone to get some PB blaster and uh, shop towels and a hammer. Good hammer. When you buy a hammer, you know it's going to be a good time, right? Oh yeah. We took the S14 to AutoZone. Uh, had to jump it. Starts right up though. 